Hi to all uh, comrades uh, and greetings for your conference of the uh, Socialist uh, Alliance. And I salute you from uh, Kamishlo, from Rojava, from Syria, uh, which is uh, after midnight, uh, two hours. We are a little bit uh, earlier for us anyway. So <laughs> we feel now, uh, really, we have friends in Australia and uh, all the world, really. And the, the globe or the world became just a small uh, a village. Everybody can be affected by each other. And uh, of course, uh, as all the comrades are following and they know the Rojava revolution, we are struggling for our rights, for the democracy, for the humanitarian values. And uh, uh, we have, uh, of course, uh, with a solidarity from all the comrades all over the world, including Australia, Europe, and uh, all the pro-democracy powers in the world, really. And we feel uh, proud of that, that we have uh, such a lot of friends supporting you and uh, supporting us and uh, standing with us in our struggle against the fascism and dictatorship in this area. And uh, of course, uh, as everybody knows, I mean, uh, these uh, terrorist organizations and so they are just uh, became an international organizations and they are affecting all the world. They are threatening maybe Australia and uh, Europe and all the countries. So I think the only way to stand against such a terrorism and uh, such a fascism to have a solidarity and connection between all the uh, democratic, pro-democratic powers and the parties, including us. So uh, the struggle against the terrorism and this uh, fascism dictatorship also should be uh, global. I mean, should everybody share it? And this is the why uh, now, of course, I mean, if we have uh, supporters and we have solidarity from Australia, uh, just because we are defending the uh, international values, humanitarian values in our areas. So it's the same values in Australia and the other places. And uh, we are proud of that because we are leading such struggle uh, in our places here. So, uh, according to what happening, I mean, now in Rojava, uh, of course, it's uh, about eight years. We are I mean, since 2012. Uh, we are in the revolution against uh, the Syrian dictatorship first, and then against the Turkish side, which uh, they are using mercenaries and uh, supporting all this uh, terrorist organization. Uh, like Jabhat al-Nusra and like Daesh. And they are still, I mean, we are under struggle. In, in, even now, uh, we have uh, fighting going on in some areas. And as you are following, also you are aware of it, uh, the Turkish state or Turkish fascism, they have occupied Afrin, and then they have occupied uh, Tel Abyad and uh, Rasulain, which is the areas of north of Syria. Uh, and they have mercenaries. So those mercenaries, Turkey, are using the remains of the terrorist organization, including Daesh in the areas when they were defeated in many areas in Syria. The remains of them, they went to Turkey and Turkey organized them and supported them and even weaponized them and they are using them against us. It's just not like that. I mean, they are using... Uh, all these mercenaries in over all the world, I mean, they are using them in Libya, they are using them in Caucasia, uh, they are using them, sending some of them to Europe to make uh, those uh, terrorist uh, actions. So uh, I think the, the terrorism and the terrorist supporters, just like Turkey and some maybe some other countries which they are financing the uh, terrorists, uh, they should be kept away or should, they should be banned 
from supporting the, the terrorist organizations. So we are in this struggle, really. And now, uh, of course, uh, as you know, for this uh, recent attacks in our areas in uh, north of Syria, uh, we have about 300,000 people uh, which they are displaced, I mean, from their areas. And now we are trying, I mean, to help them and sharing them with everybody, everything. And we are banned from the countries even, I mean, the borders uh, with Iraq and uh, even the borders with Turkey, from the other side, from the regime side, all the borders are closed. I mean, we are only have uh, maybe a non-official way uh, to the South Kurdistan. We are getting, I mean, maybe some, some supplies from them. And nobody is uh, from those international, uh, I mean, uh, the aids and uh, even the organizations, nobody is supporting us. I mean, they are not standing with us in this uh, struggle. We are mostly depending on ourselves and even, as you know, maybe the pandemic also was the recent uh, thing. We are affected by the pandemics also. And uh, so from all the ways we have, uh, anyway, the revolution and we have to stand and we have to resist against uh, this. Uh, and now, of course, I mean, uh, uh, we don't know what will happen, I mean, in future now, uh, because Turkey still is attacking with their mercenaries in some areas. The regime with the Russians, they are making, I mean, uh, uh, also moving, uh, uh, making pressure on us to go to the house of the regime, which is not accepted. The Syrian people, they have revolution since 12, I mean, uh, since 2011 till now, about uh, 10 years, nine years, 10 years. So they don't want this regime to come back. And this struggle, it's just became a, a, a third world war, I mean, in our areas in the Syria. So uh, this is the actual situation now. And uh, But our people are united and uh, we are just struggling again against all this pressure. And uh, against, uh, again, what I can say, we are proud of uh, our friends and our supporters from Australia, from all the pro-democracy powers. Uh, I mean, even the organizations from Europe and from otherwise. We will keep struggling. I mean, we, we are not going to be uh, standing just watching or just to be uh, surrendered to them. We are not accepting that. Our people wouldn't accept that because uh, we are defending our honor and we are defending our beings here because uh, still, I mean, even the Syrian regime and uh, the Turkish regime, they don't uh, accept any Kurdish existence, I mean, in this area and even in Turkey and the other parts also. So we are still, I mean, uh, doing a big struggle against that. And uh, I would like, again, to thank you to give me the opportunity uh, to talk to the comrades from Australia. And we would like to keep in contact, uh, I mean, because even the, the parties and the people in Australia, uh, they can do a lot, I mean, even they can uh, get, uh, I mean, to know our struggle, the reality of our struggle because uh, we have the women rights, we have the equality between the the people or ethnically or even belief wise. So I think it's a model to be uh, accepted in the Middle East and it's uh, for solution, I mean for Syria and for the Middle East also. So we have a lot of experience and we can benefit the humanity uh, from experience, our experience. Uh, at the end, I would like uh, to thank you again. It's a, a big honor for me uh, to uh, to be joining, I mean, your meeting and uh, to share in this uh, conference uh, through the uh, Zoom. And uh, we would like uh, to have these relations, I mean, in future also. And even if your people, all of you or some of you, if they want to visit us, they are welcome anytime to see the reality on the ground here because we have 
a lot of guests coming from Europe and so, and even maybe from Australia also we can receive and delegations from you in, in Rojava and you will come anytime to see the reality and to discuss the matters which is about the how to defend the humanitarian values, the democracy in the world. Thank you very much again for uh, inviting me and giving me the opportunity to join uh, such a meeting. And uh, if you have any questions related to Rojava and related to our struggle, we are ready to answer. Thank you very much for all comrades.